kingdom come. The kingdom of God certainly comes without our prayer, but we pray in this petition that it may come among us also. How does God's kingdom come? What is this kingdom that we're talking about? Well, the good and gracious will of our Father is that you and I would receive the good gifts that Jesus has, that you would be included in his station and in his name and in his reward, right? The inheritance that belongs to Jesus, now Jesus wants you to have. God the Father wants to give to you. The Holy Spirit wants to wrap you with it. And so here we are. How does God's kingdom come? It comes when he sends that Holy Spirit into your heart. He sends it right through your ears. Thus, the second petition of the Lord's Prayer reminds us of the preaching of God's Word. Perhaps it might connect you back to the third commandment, where we heard well, long ago, and that which is written upon our heart, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. We should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear and learn it. For that word preached among us is the work of the Spirit among us. And when the Spirit is among us, the kingdom of God is among us. He is there calling us by the gospel, enlightening us with his gifts, sanctifying and keeping us in the true faith. So it is that you have a God who knows exactly what you need. You have a God who has promised to hear your prayers. You have a God who protects and provides. You have a God who fulfills every law that is way too much for you and me to handle. But he would not let us be lost. So he keeps it. He fulfills it. He goes to the cross and dies there, shedding his blood, that that blood then would make you holy. Thus the Spirit calls you by the gospel, enlightens you with these gifts, sanctifies and keeps you in the true faith. He daily and richly forgives all your sins and the sins of all believers. Thanks be to God that he has sent that Spirit among us, that we would be known as the children of God. And the lavishing of God's love upon us is that kingdom among us. Amen.